السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. This is Hani Ismail from Planning Engineer website. In today video, I'm going to ask one of our colleagues a question about planning of the prefabricated construction projects. So let's go and see the question. The question is asking, uh, respected sir, I have been following you on YouTube for a quiet while. Thank you very much, and find your videos interesting and informative. I always wanted to know. What could be the planning phase if you are doing a prefabricated construction on a large scale project? Is under development villages where even road conditions are bad. Let us assume erection phase per house takes about 15 days, as of the area of each house is say about 2,500 uh, 2, square feet. And the maximum height is about 20 feet. Okay, this information is very specific, but I'm going to answer it in a general way so everyone can get benefit from it. In such a cases, we might have to bring a lot of things such as scaffolding, ladders, a lot of machinery, etc. Can you elaborate, make a video on how to plan such a critical project? Would be helpful for uh, everyone, I suppose. Okay, so I selected this question to answer. So the first thing, okay, if you are in the planning phase, you have, as you said, bad roads. So bad roads will tell us a question, is there any possibilities to enhance these roads? Okay, if yes, then we might consider adding this scope, add this scope to our project. Because from a, a feasibility point of view, you might need to enhance the roads a little bit because you are going to receive a lot of uh, materials and especially it is a prefabricated. A prefabricated means you have trucks. This trucks is carrying out heavy elements. Okay, this is a truck. You have heavy elements. So you need a good roads to carry out these, these things. And I think this should be in the visibility study of the project because how you are going to uh, reach your site. If your site here and you have roads to your site, you might consider enhancing these roads in order to uh, get the material on time without any delays. This is a very thing. So if no, like we don't have, we don't have such thing and we cannot enhance the roads, it is an extra cost, then you need to consider the time. You need to consider the time, and you will talk about this point in details when we come to uh, how to manage the uh, prefabricated uh, construction. But you need to consider the time for delivery and allow for it for additional time for the uh, shipping through these roads. Okay. The second point I would like to discuss with you. Now, you say that you need 15 days, okay, per house. And this is your productivity. This is very good. But you didn't tell me how many houses, how many houses you have, okay? Let's assume, since it is a mega project, you have 100 houses. Okay, then simply the project duration should be 15 if you are doing one house per time multiply by 100. So this will give us the project duration. So let's say you are doing two houses per time. Simply you can divide this one per two. In that case, you will uh, show the required working days. It depends on this one if it is working days or calendar days. But uh, in that case, you have the project duration, which is a more important thing. You now have the project duration of your project. Okay. Uh, now, I need to uh, tell you some tips and tricks regarding the prefabrication project naturally. The manufacturer here is ha having a huge impact. It is very important, and they will see it in a minute. 
like you have already made elements will be installed in the site so you need to consider the manufacturer as a very important step and in order to have the elements delivered to the site your engineering should be done your engineering should be done ahead of time because you cannot start manufacturer without engineering so you need to be sure that you have all your shop drawings uh, uh, approved now you in this case will not consider the procurement as something with second priority because the uh, pr uh, production follow-up is very important what I mean by production follow-up, you will not wait until the date of the delivery, then you say, okay, this is delayed. No, you need to follow up in details, and I will share with you uh, the file, how you can uh, de monitor the production uh, closely. And uh, this is very simple Excel sheet, by the way, I'm going to share it on the screen now, and I will tell you how to calculate all the dates involved on this Excel sheet. So the production follow-up is very important as well. And the last thing you need to consider that the construction priority of this project. This is very important because now you are executing your houses, okay, and you are getting the ready-made elements to install. You need to be sure that will not fall in the mistake I will uh, show to you in a second. So here, the manufacturer has a huge impact. Because the manufacturer item must, must be on site on time. Not too early. Okay. So you don't have a space to store them. See. You might be in a position where you have too many elements. And you don't find a place to store them. And not too late. Because you might standing here. Waiting for the material to be delivered on the site. So it, uh, we have a concept in the procurement called just on time you need to consider this one that all the material will be delivered to the site just on time okay the engineering is essential to start manufacturing you cannot start the fabrication or the casting of your element without having all your shop drawing approved so you need to be sure that you have a very detailed shop drawing log that has all the required shop drawings in order to enable the uh, engineering uh, sorry the manufacturer to start this sheet i would like to show with you which talk about the production follow-up it should be uh, very useful for you for you because what we have here we have here the required on job date from this required on job date, we should now set up the delivery date on site. And from the delivery date on site, we need to know the production finish date. And from the production finish date, we will get the production start date. And from the start date, we should have here our shop drawing approved. And accordingly, we should know when the shop drawing to be submitted. And here we have the elements of the uh, precast or the prefabricated the prefabricated element which belongs to which floor and which building so let us fill one example let's say you have one date like you need the uh, here the required on job 10 march 23 okay this is the date of your schedule of the item so we'll say I will make it uh, seven days. I'll make the delivery seven days prior to the required on job date. So it should be here three March 2023. We have here this seven days. Okay. So the production will finish normally one day before the shipping if it is near. So this one should be 12 March. 2023 20, and we consider here for one day then the product production now you need to know from your uh, uh, prefabrication company how many days it needs for fabricating one element let's say we will have two days 
okay it means you go backward and you find that you need to have it in 28 February 2023 and in order to start the production you need to have the shop drawing approval and in that case we, we should consider a very good buffer time let's say we'll have with 30 days so here we will say that we need that drawing to be approved 28 January 2023 and then accordingly we'll give the consultant 14 days for review and so on so we can say that we have we we should submit it in 14 14 Jan 2023 and here you can find the list or you can populate the list of the elements okay with their relevant floor and building from your manufacturer uh, company they will know each building each floor what is the elements for it you might have different or uh, multiple element for uh, for one floor you might have columns and walls and slabs whatever elements you need to list all of them here so you can simply track and uh, your project in a very productive way okay the last thing i would like to discuss in this video the construction priority please don't be in a situation where you are working in zone a okay and the manufacturer is giving you item for zone b you are waiting here sitting for the elements to be delivered and the delivery is coming for different items this is very dangerous and this could screw all your planning so you need to have the priorities very clear to your team that okay we are working in zone a then please give me the elements for zone a the priority again is very important because without the priority you might receive the wrong material in the wrong time or we might receive the correct material in the wrong time so this is very important in the prefabricated projects i hope you find this video useful to you see you in the next one